Hi there, it's Jeff here, and I'm going to be taking you on a Corel Draw adventure. Uh, we're going to be uh, showing you some macros along the way and some techniques that might be useful in your work. I'll be going at a fairly quick pace for the benefit of the more advanced users, uh, and uh, beginners and intermediate folks can, you know, rewind and watch certain sections again if they need to. Now, what I'm going to do here is, because their snowflakes are kind of a random type thing, I'm just going to grab all of these, rotate them a little bit, and then hit the right mouse button. You see that little plus symbol by the cursor there? That just created a duplicate of that. I'm just going to scale them down a little bit. So now we've got a couple of different sizes of the same three snowflakes, and they're, but they're rotated a little bit to provide a little bit of um, you know, variety there. Now if we were to press the I key, that brings up your artistic media tool. And we could go to the sprayer, which left click on that. And the next step is we want to create a, um, you know, an image list of, the image list actually is, I believe, a photo paint term, but for CorelDRAW, I think they call it a spray list. And what we're going to do is create a new one. And let's see if we can make a new one here. There we go. Go to new spray list, so it's empty. Select a shape, and then add to spray list. Click on this one add to the spray list. You can see how it's adding it up in the top there. What if we picked a small one now? And then just kind of work your way through it to add the balance of them. There we go. So let's say we just paint, simply paint a thing like that and you can see how it's, you know, spraying them along a path fairly quickly here. But we could, you know, control the spacing of it, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, images per dab, we want one. Image spacing, what if we went to two in this case? It kind of gives it a little more uh, distance between the spaces. There we go. Now, let's see here. So what I wanted to show you today is, is um, how we can create a scene using those um, new snowflakes that we have. You could have them spell out a name if you wanted to do that. In fact, we could, you know, we could try that if you want. My initials happen to be JH, so let's just make that like that. Okay, let's say we're happy with this. I'm just going to convert that to curves, which is Control Q. And I'm going to press the I key, and if I go to my, my new um, snowflakes, you can see how it's randomly placed them along the curve there. But we can always adjust the size of that, by the way, by just going over here. And you can see how, you know, they're, they're there. Everything seems fine. How about, uh, so let's say we're ready to send this off to Photoshop to apply a layer style to it. I'm going to hold down the Shift key, double click on the Rectangle tool. And what that does is just creates a bounding box around the area there a bit. I'm just going to scale it up so it encompasses everything inside there. Uh, at the moment, CorelDRAW doesn't have a... Um, uh, a margin feature when creating a bitmap. So we're just manually creating a margin before converting everything we see to a bitmap. Let's get rid of that outline. It's still there behind the scenes as an element. I'm going to hit Control A, then I'm going to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, and I'm going to change this to RGB. 300 dpi I think will be okay for our needs here. And now I'm simply going to uh, launch raster control, and that's, this allows me to fired it off into uh, Photoshop pretty quickly. Alright, so let's see what we've got here for some layer styles. Do we have any like snowy flaky type stuff? Well, one might be alright there. You can, you can have metallic ones if you wanted. There's kind of a glassy looking one. Um, how about that one? Okay, let's say I'm happy with that one. So I'm just going to simply, uh, I've made an action in Photoshop to flatten the layer style, so I'm just going to press that. And as soon as that's done, of course I'm going to save it back to CorelDRAW, otherwise that won't be much use. And now we just have a simple flattened bitmap, of course with it alpha channel, so it retains the transparency there though, which is important. So I'm scale it up, something like that. And just for fun I'm going to create a rectangle the size of the document by double clicking on the rectangle tool. Pressing G, and I'm going to drag across the, shape, the face of the object like that, and this is creating a, a gradient. Let's zoom in here to see what we have. So we've got some fairly high resolution, you know, 
snowflakes against that background, we may want to do you know do whatever. If you want to do something else, you always could. You could put this into let's say a merge mode, such as uniform. Crank that up and maybe go to divide to see what that does. That has a pretty interesting effect there, in my opinion. So zoom in on this. So that's one fun thing you can do. Now the difference between image lists and spray lists is that an image list will, won't warp anything as you spray it along a path. So that's that's one important distinction. And then the uh, in, a, in another video I'm going to show you the difference by uh, creating a chain link and also a piece of barbed wire and you can see how that interacts relative to image lists.